Personalization versus segmentation. What is the difference? Why and what do we want to personalize? How can this be done with AI and machine learning? Let's have a look. You can think of personalization as the journey of moving from the left to the right on a spectrum. We start with a one message to all approach, treating the entire audience as a single entity. As we move from the left to the right, we begin introducing layers of segmentation, first by broad criteria like age, then by adding interests and further by specific activities. As we approach the right, the process ends with one-to-one -one communication tailoring content uniquely for individual customers. The underlying hypothesis is that by speaking to individual needs and wishes, companies can delight their customers and increase loyalty and revenue, a win-win for everyone. At the end of the day, the goal of personalization is to match any message or experience with the right customer, and you want to do this at scale. Today, email segmentation is often manually conducted by categorizing customers based on predefined criteria such as gender, age, interest, and customer lifetime value. This data is used to create specific segments, each targeted with different content. And for every segment, marketers will create different versions of content and then run an A-B test to identify the winner. However, this process is heavy as it only allows for testing a few ad hoc segments at a time. Adjusting and retesting requires manually altering segment definitions and relaunching campaigns. And as a consequence, fine-tuning campaigns becomes time-consuming, limiting the speed of optimization. Trying to manually match all the different segments with all the different messages or experiences, the task becomes insurmountable. On the messaging side, with each segment potentially needing its own tailored content and considering multiple styles or versions of messages, the permutations further multiply. While large language models have made message generation more feasible, the real challenge now shifts to accurately match each of those generated messages to the most suitable segment. And to add to this problem, the initial segmentation itself may not be optimal. The ad hoc approach to segmentation might overlook more nuanced or effective ways to petition the customer base. So even if we successfully match messages to segments, there's an underlying uncertainty if those segments are the best representation of the audience in the first place. This whole process underscores the need for advanced automated tools to optimize both segmentation and message personalization. So how do we do that? We take the heavy process of matching customers with messaging or experiences out of the customer data platform and let machine learning do the heavy lifting. Starting from a goal of matching customers with customer experiences, we can create different message variations with ChatGPT or with the OpenAI API. We can then use machine learning to estimate the uplift of various messages by comparing outcomes for each message against the control group. Once you have the uplift for each message, you can rank the messages according to ROI. This allows you to automatically use the customer properties to predict or prescribe the most effective message. The personalized message recommendations that you get from this can be fed directly into a platform like Klaviyo. Klaviyo then makes it easy to automate the delivery of these tailored messages to the customers, ensuring they receive the content most likely to elicit a positive response, thereby optimizing engagement and potential revenue. The modeling framework needed for this is called potential outcome modeling. Imagine having a crystal ball that allows you to evaluate consequences of taking different actions. Instead of forecasting future events based on past patterns, as we do with predictive analytics, we want to assess the potential consequences of different decisions. And for that, we need causal inference, specifically potential outcome modeling. Evaluating the consequences of potential actions is different than predicting the future based on past data. In fact, you don't have a target variable representing what you're trying to optimize, as you can always either do A or B. What we are aiming for is an estimate of the conditional average treatment effect, also called the Kate. The Kate refines traditional uplift modeling from A-B testing by evaluating the difference in outcomes between variants for a particular subgroup. The distribution of potential outcomes of different messaging or different experiences gives an overall view of how different groups might respond, enabling a more strategic and personalized targeting. The methodology of estimating Kate or the conditional uplift is about understanding the differential impact of an intervention compared to not intervening. By modeling the uplift, we can determine the most effective messages or incentives or anything really for individual customers. This can be employed for any promotional campaign, new products, 
or informational messages generated with generative AI. So by segmenting customers based on predicted uplift, we can tailor messages or offers to those most likely to respond positively. And this ensures that marketing efforts are optimized, maximizing revenue and ensuring that customers receive relevant and valuable communications. So if you want to get started doing uplift modeling, there are already three good Python libraries for this. There is uplift ML, which is a library by booking.com. Then you have causal ML, which is a library by Uber, also a library specifically created to do uplift modeling. And then we have EconML, which is a library developed by people at Microsoft that combines econometrics with machine learning and is specifically aimed at solving causal inference problems. So when it comes to scaling personalization, two key tools emerge as game changers. We have generative AI that serves as a dynamic tool for rapid content creation, ensuring that messages can be created faster. And on the other hand, we have causal inference and machine learning that helps us tailor the messages that resonate with the customers on an individual level. So by combining the efficiency of generative AI with the pinpoint accuracy of causal machine learning, it's now become a lot easier for businesses to create a deeply personalized customer experience. There are many different components of the customer experience that we can personalize in order to move towards a more fine-grained level of targeted communication. For instance, we can tailor product recommendations, headlines, CTAs, or incentives. And by utilizing the built-in dynamic template system that most email service providers come with, we can personalize in a way that maximizes ROI by doing the heavy lifting with machine learning and AI. That's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.